Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. You gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, you gave, gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May your worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you want for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour, Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate in the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery is the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of her death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery is the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery is the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery is the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery is the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day your daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now when at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now when at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of your death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O, o Holy, Holy Mother, Mother of God. God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, who ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He is clothed with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, Father we entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Jubilee Prayer O God, our Father and Creator, in whom we live and move and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican province of the Philippines. O God the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is tried to incarnate. O God the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, let, Let our celebration, celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all in the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today, we commemorate the memorial of Saint Margaret of Hungary. Saint Margaret was born in 1242, the daughter of Bela de Fort, King of Hungary, and Maria Lascaris, daughter of the Emperor of Constantinople. Before her birth, her parents had made a vow to dedicate her to God if Hungary would be victorious over the invading Tartans. When almost four years old, Margaret was placed in the Dominican monastery of Vesprim. At the age of 12, she moved to a new monastery built by her father near Buddha and there made her profession into the hands of Humbert of Romans. Margaret lived a, totally, a life totally dedicated to Christ, crucified, and inspired her sisters by her asceticism, her works of mercy, her pursuit of peace, and her humble service. She had a special love for the Eucharist and the Passion of Christ, and showed a special devotion to the Holy Spirit and Our Lady. Despite her noble lineage, Saint Margaret distinguished herself for her humility and poverty. She zealously kept all monastic observances and showed great charity and service to the sick. She died in January 18, 1270. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to please actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and, and my, my mouth, mouth shall declare, declare your praise. The holy virgins praise their Lord and King. Come, let us join in their worship. The holy virgins praise their Lord and King. Come, let us join in their worship. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. The holy virgins praise their Lord and King. Come, let us join in their worship. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. The holy virgins praise their Lord and King. 
Come, let us join in their worship. Go within his gates giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. The holy virgins praise their Lord and King. Come, let us join in their worship. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. The holy virgins praise their Lord and King. Come, let us join in their worship. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The holy virgins praise their Lord and King. Come, let us join in their worship. Please be seated. Lord, send forth your light and your truth. Defend me, O God, and plead my cause against a godless nation. From deceitful and cunning men, rescue me, O God. Since you, O God, are my stronghold, why have ye rejected me? Why do I go mourning, oppressed by the foe? O oh, send forth your light and your truth, let these be my guide. Let them bring me to your holy mountain, to the place where you dwell. And I will come to the altar of God, the God of my joy. My Redeemer, I will thank you on the harp, O oh God, my God. Why are you cast down, my soul? Why groan within me? Hope in God, I will praise him still, my Savior and my God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, keep us safe all the days of our life. Once I said, in the noontime of life I must depart, to the gates of another world I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living, no longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling, like a shepherd's tent, is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow, I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits. Be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you, neither those who go down into the pit await your kindness the living the living give you thanks as i do today fathers declare to their sons O god your faithfulness the lord is our savior we shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the lord all the days of our life glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit as it was in the beginning is now and will be forever amen to you, O God, our praise is due in Zion. To you, our praise is due in Zion, O God. To you, we pay our vows. You will hear our prayer. To you, all flesh will come with its burden of sin. Too heavy for us are offenses, but you wipe them away. Blessed is he whom you choose and call to dwell in your courts. We are filled with the blessings of your house of your holy temple. You keep your pledge with wonders, O God our Savior, the hope of all the earth and of far distant isles. You uphold the mountains with your strength. You are girded with power. You still the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the tumult of the peoples. The ends of the earth stand in awe at the sight of your wonders. The lands of sunrise and sunset you feel with your joy. You care for the earth, give it water. 
you fill it with riches. Your river in heaven dreams sober to provide its grain. And thus you provide for the earth. You drench its forests. You level it, soften it with showers. You bless its growth. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The hills are girded with joy. The meadows covered with flocks. The valleys are decked with wheat. They shout for joy. Yes, they sing. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, guardian and lover of virginity, by your gift of grace, Margaret, your handmaid, join the beauty of a virginal spirit to a life of good works. Through a spirit of penance, may we come to purify of heart. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve for Saul, whom I have rejected as king of Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem, for I have chosen my king from among his sons. But Samuel replied, How can I go? Saul will hear of it and kill me. To this the Lord answered, Take a heifer along and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Invite Jesse to the sacrifice, and I myself will tell you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I point out to you. Samuel did as the Lord had commanded him. When he entered Bethlehem, the elders of the city came, trembling to meet him, and inquired, Is your visit peaceful, O seer? He replied, Yes, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. So cleanse yourselves and join me today for the banquet. He also had Jesse and his sons cleanse themselves and invited them to the sacrifice. As they came, he looked at Eliab and thought, Surely the Lord's anointed is here before him. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not judge from his appearance or from his lofty stature, because I have rejected him. Not as man sees God, does God see, because he sees the appearance, but the Lord looks into the heart. Then Jesse called Abinadab and presented him before Samuel, who said, The Lord has not chosen him. Next, Jesse presented Shammah, but Samuel said, The Lord has not chosen this one either. In the same way, Jesse presented seven sons before Samuel. But Samuel said to Jesse, The Lord has not chosen anyone of this. Then Samuel asked Jesse, Are these all the sons you have? Jesse replied, There is still the youngest who is tending the sheep. Samuel said to Jesse, Send for him. We will not begin the sacrificial banquet until he arrives here. Jesse sent and had the young man brought to them. He was ruddy, a youth handsome to behold, and making a splendid appearance. The Lord said, There, anoint him, for this is he. Then Samuel, with the horn of oil in hand, anointed him in the midst of his brothers. And from that day on, the Spirit of the Lord 
rush upon David. When Samuel took his leave, he went to Ramah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I have found David, my servant. I have found David, my servant. Once you spoke in a vision, and to your faithful ones you said, On a champion I have placed a crown, over the people I have set a youth. I have found David, my servant. I have found David, my servant. With my holy oil I have anointed him, that my hand may be always with him, and that my arm may make him strong. I have found David, my servant. He shall say of me, You are my Father, my God, the Rock, my Savior, and I will make him the firstborn, highest of the kings of the earth. I have found David, my servant. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to our call. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus was passing through a field of grain on the Sabbath, his disciples began to make a path while picking the heads of grain. At this, the Pharisees said to him, Look, why are they doing what is unlawful on the Sabbath? He said to them, Have you ever read what David did? when he was in the need and he and his companions were hungry. How he went into the house of God when Abiathar was high priest and ate the bread of offering that only the priest could lawfully eat and shared it with his companions. Then he said to them, The Sabbath was made for men, not men for the Sabbath. That is why the Son of Man is Lord even on the Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise ye, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Pagandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, mga kapatid, sa Ibanghelyo po na ibinasa at pagninilaya natin sa araw na ito, una makikita natin ang katapatan ng mga Hudyo sa pagpapatupad ng kanilang mga batas o alituntunin. Isa sa mga bagay na kanilang binibigyan ng pagpapahalaga ay ang paglalaan ng araw ng pagdadasal o yung tinatawag nilang Sabbath Day na itinuturing nilang sagrado sapagkat ito ang araw na inilalaan nila para magbigay ng papuri at pasasalamat sa Diyos. At walang maaaring gawing ibang bagay kundi magdasal. Walang maaaring gawing ibang bagay kahit na ang bagay na ito ay makabubuti para sa sarili o para sa kapwa, hindi maaaring gawin sapagkat ang araw na ito ay nakalaan lamang para sa Diyos. Sa isang banda, maganda nating matutunan ang kahalagahan ng araw na ito sapagkat tayo rin bilang mga Kristiyanong Katoliko ay may ganitong kaugalian. Kaya nga tinuturing natin na sagrado ang araw ng linggo sapagkat ang araw ng linggo ay isang obligasyon natin para tayo ay magsimba, manalangin, magbigay ng pasasalamat at papuri sa Diyos sa napakarami niyang biyaya na patuloy na ibinibigay sa atin. At dalasan nga, eh nakakalimutan natin ang araw na ito, ang kahalagahan ng araw na ito o di naman kaya nakalulungkot bang sabihin, kinatatamaran natin ang ang, uh, ang pagbibigay ng kahalagahan sa araw na ito. Isang bagay na maaari nating matutunan sa ating mga kapatid na Hudyo kung paano nila binibigyan ng pagpapalhalaga ang araw na nakalaan para sa Diyos. Subalit, 
ang isang bagay na maaari nating pansinin sa ibanghelyo sa araw na ito ay kung papaano sa sobrang istrikto ng mga hudyo, nakalimutan niya nila ang kahalagahan ng paggawa ng mabuti. Lalo na ang pagtugon sa pangangailangan ng kapwa. Katulad sa ibanghelyo, sa kwento ng ibanghelyo, nakita ng mga pariseyo na ang mga disipulo ng ating Panginoon ay pumipitas o nangunguha na mga butil. Bakit sila nangunguha? Eh sapagkat sila'y gutom na gutom na. At sila'y pinabayaan ng Panginoon sapagkat si, ang Panginoon ay naawa sa kanila. Hindi nga po ba, eh, consistent naman ang Panginoon sa lahat ng bagay. Punong-puno ng awa ang ating Panginoon, lalo na sa mga nangangailangan. He truly attends to the needs of each one of us. Kaya nga, hindi na nakabibigla na gano'n ang reaksyon ng ating Panginoon. Bagamat it is a Sabbath day, indeed, it is meant for the Lord, but then it should not limit us to do something good for others. Why? Because the Lord understands that the spirit of the law must always be that of love. Love and mercy. Kaya tayo ay nagsisimba upang sa ganun mapalalim natin ang ating ugnayan sa Diyos. At kapag napalalim natin ang ugnayan natin sa Diyos, nakilala natin ang husto ang Diyos na siya ay Diyos ng pag-ibig, pagkatapos ng misa, tayo sinasabihan ng pari na humayo kayo at magpalaganap ng mabuting balita. Humayo kayo at gawin ninyo ang misyon ninyo bilang mga Kristiyano. At ano ang misyon natin bilang mga Kristiyano? Umibi, gumawa ng mabuti, maging tapat sa Diyos. At yung katapatan na yun sa Diyos na ipapakita natin sa paggawa natin ng kabutihan para sa sarili natin, subalit hindi lang para sa sarili natin, kundi lalo't higit sa lahat para sa ating kapwa. Kaya nga tayo ay nagsisimba, kaya tayo nangungusap sa Diyos upang sa ganun, e eh tayo ma-inspire at mabigyan din ng lakas, mabigyan ng pagkakataon upang sa ganun, masunda natin ang halimbawa ng ating Panginoong Yeso Kristo na ang pangunahing batas ay batas ng pag-ibig. Kaya nga po, matapos tayong magsimba at manalangin, ang samot na langin natin, sana mas lalo tayong magkaroon ng kakayahan na gumawa ng mabuti at umibig sa ating kapwa upang masunda natin ang magandang halimbawa ni Kristo. Pagdasal po natin yan mga kapatid. Please all stand. Let us pray to God our Father who has called all His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. For every prayer we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and ways to serve God and people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That legislators everywhere may make laws that are humane and serve the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never put law above people, but practice first the great commandment of loving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are worried of their sickness may find consolation and strength from those who care for them and love them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the bishops of the Philippines and for our brothers and ministry as St. Thomas Aquinas and St. Raymond of Menyafort, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, and for our personal intentions. 
We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That eternal rest be upon our beloved dead. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our personal intentions, the needs of our family and our community. We pray as well for the end of this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and be guided. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept our gifts, Lord, as we recall our sister Margaret and the, and the humble gift of herself for her own people. Give us your peace in Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of our Lord. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may be for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our, our Archbishop, and Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you for your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, As 
Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of a world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of a world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of a world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to receive Him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Please kneel for the prayer for elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. Let us pray together. Deliver us, Lord. 
deliver us, Lord, from coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord, from dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord, from bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord, from threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord, that the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord, that human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord, that the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord, the genuine fear of God and love of neighbor may always guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Offer yourselves as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, the promise of old, that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Offer, Offer yourselves, yourselves as a living sacrifice, sacrifice holy and pleasing to God. God. Let us pray. O Lord, you have refreshed us at this heavenly banquet by following the example of St. Margaret. May we so use the goods of this passing world that we may be found worthy to come at last to eternal joys. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Marami pong salamat sa inyong pakikisa sa misa na ito dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, Pangasinan. Tayo po ay patuloy na magdasal para sa isa't isa at para sa katapusan ng pandemya. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass descended, go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Let us now have the prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now have the blessing for the rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed 
and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Oh, 